Hey guys, welcome back to Jenna's Reading Corner. I hope you guys enjoyed today's book, which is one of my childhood favorites, which is Puppy Mudge. And I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to subscribe. Today we'll be reading Henry and Mudge and the Sneaky Crackers. Story by Kenyatta Ryland, pictures by Susie Stevenson. The Spy Kid. Henry and Henry's big dog, Mudge, liked to watch a TV show called The Man in the Mask. It was about a spy. Henry loved spies. One day, he saw a spy kit for sale. Mudge, let's get the piggy bank, said Henry. Henry emptied the bank and bought the kit. It was great. There was a spy hat and spy glasses. There was a spy telescope. There was a secret code on a secret card. And best of all, there was a magnifying glass. Henry looked at Mudge through the magnifying glass. We're spies. We're spies now, Mudge, Henry said. Mudge wagged. We'll flirt with danger, Henry said. Mudge wagged again and steal secrets, said Henry. Mudge wagged harder. He was ready to be a spy. He gave the magnifying glass a big wet lick. Henry looked at the drooly glass. Hmm, said Henry. Maybe you should just wear the hat. Code. Henry put the spy glasses on himself and the spy hat on Mudge, and they went outside. They walked down the street spying. Try not to look like you're spying, Mudge, Henry said. Mudge rolled around in a, in a puddle. Hmm, said Henry. Good job. Henry looked through his magnifying glass. Suddenly, he saw something suspicious. This way, Mudge, he said. They sneaked behind a bush. They zipped between some trash cans. Hey, look at this, Mudge said Henry. He held his magnifying glass over a piece of paper on the ground. He read E3T27Q and 5TB. Code, said Henry. But Mudge wasn't listening. He was spying. He was spying an old shoe in one of the trash cans. Mudge loved old shoes. No, Mudge, said Henry. Nasty. Nasty can. Mudge chewed on a big rock instead. You're doing a good job not looking like a spy, said Henry. Patting Mudge's head, Mudge wagged and spit out the rock. Spying was fun. Crackers. Henry took the code back home. It's a message, Mudge, Henry said, and we have to crack it. Mudge wagged. He was good at cracking things. There were things all over the house that Mudge had cracked. Heels, um, a clock, some toys. Oops, and a vase. Henry took out the secret code card. He held it against next to the message. Carefully, he began working. Since Mudge couldn't eat the code, or lick the code, or roll over on the code, he decided to sleep. He lay and snored, waiting to flirt with danger. Finally, Henry cracked the code. I've got it, he said. See? Mudge opened one eye. It says, who are you? Mudge opened both eyes. Wow, said Henry. Another spy. For a week, Henry left secret messages by the trash can. And for a week, Henry picked up secret messages by the trash cans. Mudge chewed a lot of rocks. Finally, Henry left a message that said, Meet me here, 5 o'clock Monday. And a boy holding the same spy kit met him on Monday. The boy also had a dog who was also wearing a hat. Wow, said Henry, let's be a club because they were so good at cracking codes. The boys named their club Crackers. And for ID, they always carried some real crackers in their pockets. Did Mudge even ever love that? I hope you guys enjoyed Henry and Mudge and the Sneaky Crackers. And before we go, I'm going to bring my dog on and show you him. He is so cute.
Well, I hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe.